have not been a fan of gun stocks, but this one might change my mind. This is the iStock gun stock. This one is durable as hell. Keep that in mind if you're playing like this and you go to throw something and you, you know, this is help stabilize with aiming. It's a one-handed gun stock. That is what I like about it. So you know in Gun Raiders, you're gonna be using both arms to be flinging yourself around. With me, I try to stay away from using gun stocks because I bounce from shooter to shooter so much. I wanna be able to freehand it because all of them have the freehand option. But with that in mind, coming over to Breacher is something a little more tactical. Having a gun stock option might not be a bad idea. So in today's video, we're gonna check out if I stock will Gun Raiders and also will I stock Breachers. Way over there. All right, well, I guess we're going with them. This seems to be quite a few people with him too so uh i'm probably gonna go straight down right here first blood yes oh my dude's already downed dude how many people are over there probably a lot come on up is a f sniper damn i did that i'm really proud really proud stay still okay stick drift am i right you can see it didn't affect my gameplay i was able oh my, i lost some bullets i was able to maneuver around do whatever i needed to do you know one thing i can say right out of the gates here this part right here around where the controller is where you're trying to hold on to so uh-oh what's he doing Okay, that part right there, particularly around where the base of the controller is, meeting up with the eye stock, that probably needs a little piece of felt or something just for like comfort or ability. The moment you take that thumb off to get onto the joystick or hit some buttons or something, that's the moment that it kind of starts slipping around on you. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Is this what steady hands feels like? All right, it was definitely steadying out the backhand as far as the sniping goes, especially with the fusion rifles, a little bit with the sniper. The, the rifle, it kind of threw me off because I usually hip fire that one regardless of where I'm at. It's a learning curve, it's a learning curve. Let's jump into breachers and see, will it breachers? All right, so it doesn't interfere with my pistol. Run, go! Okay. There's two left. Nope. Woo! All right, so let's see what it's like with actual, with guns. Now selecting guns is a little precarious. Here we go. Always give your teammates extra heals without using the gun stock. And then with the gun stock. Got one. Got two. Yeah, so just like grabbing items normally, you know, you just kind of got to adjust. So you got to adjust your play style a little bit. You know, I don't think there's one gun stock out there that you're not going to be adjusting your game style. You know what I mean? Maybe the ones that you gotta detach yourself from. And those are like over a hundred dollars. My controller. That's cool. You wanna not do that? And that's precisely why I'm going back to the Quest 2 controllers. I did give up on the pros. I'm waiting to get a refund on these. What's up? How's everyone's day going? Not bad, not bad. 
nice shit, guys. Yeah, I hear him walking. Nice. Woo! The only critique I could really say would be getting something around here, maybe texturized or something along that line, just to uh, just so we have a little better for grip ability. You know what I mean? But I am feeling that with the Quest Pros, you can aim a lot closer, so a gun stock might not be completely necessary unless you need that stability. Uh, I'm not completely shaky. I'm not 100% shaky. I kind of adapt to my shakiness. So I can play with or without a gun stock. Every shooter has their own little gameplay style. So having free hands, being able to just free roam, throw nades when you need to, like in Gun Raiders, swiping from wall to wall, this could kind of get in the way. But if you adapt to it and you just kind of use one hand and you kind of saw that as long as you kind of move it out of your way with just the, the flick of a wrist, you're good to go as well. In this game, Breachers, this this would work out just fine. It, you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on the Pro Mag or anything like that or having to just do a two tube system, you know what I mean? Like the two mount system with the magnets and shit. You don't have to disconnect to throw a nade or anything like that. You just go. This one steadies it. So this is pretty much V-Stock without the virtual part. This is your actual stock. So you don't need to use V-Stock if you go with this. Then in those close range battles, you could actually rotate your gun with the backhand and kill them quicker. You can check this out. The link is going to be in the description. No, it does not come with the pro controllers. You don't want them anyways. Trust me. The name of it is iStock. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and as always i'll see you guys next time peace out till then